What's up everybody, it's your boy Romans and today we are picking the best anime villain of all time tournament style. Is it gonna be Doflamingo? Is it gonna be Frieza? Is it gonna be Johan? I don't know. There might even be a wild card here. It's impossible to make everyone happy with this because everyone has their own opinion. Half of you guys probably aren't gonna like some of my takes on here, but it is what it is. That's what makes it fun. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments below what other topics you wanna see for long form videos. But enough of the talking, let's talk about these goaded villains. Let's just dive in. Alright guys, to start things off, we're going One Piece 100%. We have Doflamingo versus Big Mom. If this was power scaling, just power scaling only, Big Mom would take this. But we do have a lot of moments throughout the One Piece story once Big Mom gets involved that Big Mom is a little underwhelming. And I mean, Doflamingo is really tied to the plot of One Piece. I mean, there really is no question about this. It's it's Doflamingo. We're, we're going with Doflamingo. We have Boros from One Punch Man, and we have Miram from Hunter x Hunter. A lot of people want to say I always hate on Hunter x Hunter. Hunter, that's not true. I have love for Hunter Hunter. I do, I do. That's why I'm picking Miriam right here. You guys thought I was about to go with Boros? I don't think so. Boros was cool though for the fights. Uh, next up, we have Kenjaku from JJK. Hideo, I think that dude is from, oh, uh, he's from an older anime. I want to say it's like Ghost in the Shell. I can't really remember. I'm, I'm going with Kenjaku. A new gen mastermind, no questions asked here. Kaido! We have Kaido versus Ogata. Now, for those who don't know who this is, he is an antagonist villain type character in um, Golden Kamoi. It's a sign in anime. So if you if you've been looking for a new anime to check out, you know, here that's a this a suggestion right there. A Roman's gym, but not better than Kaido. Not not in my opinion. I, on this, I'm going with Kaido. Ma oh, what? This is just the, this is the first round. Madara and Freeze. Can we cut this out? This this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Madara versus Frieza in the first round, guys? We're not even 10 minutes in. One of the goats of anime when it comes to villains. And the same goes with Frieza. It's fair to say if we want to talk about the Mount Rushmore of villains right now, these two are both on it. When it comes to the fourth great ninja war, there were some fumbles in my opinion, and a lot of those fumbles had to do with Madara's character and how it was handled. With Frieza, I get Frieza has taken L's as well, but he always finds a way back and he goes against the odds. He's over here playing mind games with angels and deities trying to, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, Frieza. I Look, Naruto, the Naruto fans. I love Naruto too. Don't, don't don't even don't even don't even play me like that. You guys know I love Naruto. I'm not no 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 it just had to happen. Oh, okay. We have Krolo, Lucifer, and Yoa, right? I think I'm saying it right. I think I'm saying his name right. I always I always go back and forth with his name. I'm j I, I just recently caught up with Bleach as the as the subscribers know. Hunter Hunter only anime, not the manga. This is tough. No, I said I said I was caught up with the Bleach manga, I think. No, I'm only caught up with the Bleach anime as well. So I don't know anything else past thousand year blood war i'm going crollo i'm going crollo i'm going crollo we have breaking boss i i don't know who that is i i, I it's not ringing any bells for since we i i mean though that is no question there hisoka and sukuna this is a crazy crazy matchup i mean one could say this is a pretty obvious you know, answer. And some could say this is complicated. Both are very heavily involved in the stories, you know, that they're both in. Hisoka's a little bit more too involved, if you know what I'm saying. You have Sukuna over here doing things that not a lot of villains have done in Animanga. I I'm gonna go with Sukuna here. But you know, it's just a matchup. Hisoka could have won this if it wasn't Sukuna, you know? Yujiro and Diego Brando. Okay, now this is gonna be an interesting one here, guys. Because look, I recently caught up a few months ago to JoJo's up to Stone Ocean. So I don't know Diego Brando. I've seen his pictures in some other, like Lucky Valentine, I think, other JoJo characters, but I haven't gotten to Steel Ball Run yet. And then Yujiro. I haven't seen Baki, but everyone tells me that Yujiro can solo, you know, the planet. Yujiro can solo Goku. All, all of the crazy things I hear about Yujiro. And then this picture here makes me feel like if I don't pick him right now, he's gonna pull up. I'm kind of scared. I'm gonna go with Yujiro. Let me, let me know in the comments, guys. Let me know. Next up, we have Surumi, another antagonist villain from Golden Kamoi. Completely unhinged, by the way. He, he trips me out, man. I don't know who this is. He's from Hunter x Hunter. He must be in the arc that I haven't gotten to yet since I'm only caught up to Hunter x Hunter anime. Yeah, so I'm going red. I, I know you guys are gonna be in the comments. Oh, why'd you do that, Romans? Oh, I don't know him yet. We have the 
the laughing man ghost in the shell again maybe i i don't i don't remember that either and then um swashwald um i don't know he looks like he could be from soul eater i just started soul eater a few days ago i'm only a few episodes in i love it but he looks like he looks like the art style a little bit but i don't know so i'm, I'm gonna go with since this one ring a bell laughing man i don't know but we're gonna go with it oh okay we have ginjo from bleach versus anti-spiral this is tough guys because right now it's not looking too good for the big three i love of bleach i do it's good it really is good it gets better the older you get in my opinion bleach gets better the older you get Ginjao, great antagonist same for um, Tsukishima. Now, Tsukishima was on here. This would be a different conversation, maybe. But Anti-Spiral from Gurren Lagann? Come on, man. Gurren Lagann is one of the only animes that I will say is a 10 out of 10. And with Anti-Spiral's introduction and you find out what really is going on there, I'm not going to spoil anything. If you know, you know. Anti-Spiral. Blue. Let's get it. Oh, no questions asked. Get out of here. Come on. The GOAT. The GOAT. That's one of the top runners right there. Oh! Why? Man, I was looking forward to seeing Askeladd and boo, man. See, now, 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 we're in some interesting territory here, guys. Askeladd's character took me by storm in Vinland Saga. Vinland Saga is phenomenal. One of the biggest reasons I feel like it's so impactful is because of Askeladd. And then you have Majin Buu, man, because this counts as Kid Buu and everything. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it sucks, but I have to, if this counts as the whole embodiment of Boo, gotta go with Boo, Boo. <laughs> gotta go with Boo, Boo. Gotta go, gotta go. All right, we got Morena Prudo. I guess I'm just not there in the anime um, world yet. It's not ringing any bells. And then Kira, let me talk to you for a minute. Before I watch JoJo, all I would ever hear is Dio this, Dio that. Dio can do this. He's one of the best villains ever. And then I get to... I can't remember what part it was, but it's the part with, um, the JoJo part with Yosuke. This dude pulled up, what, what the, why does anyone talk about him like this? Is this just like a cultural gem? Like, you only talk and know about him after you've seen JoJo? It's like a hidden language because this man was menacing, straight menacing, bro. They couldn't find him for a minute, bro. They, they couldn't find him for a minute. Next up, we have Chuck Culkin. Again, not ringing a bell. Oh, versus Shishuyo. Shishio, oh man, from Kenshin, from Roni Kenshin. Come on, man. Ooh, Shigaraki and Garo. Okay, these matchups are kind of killing me. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, I'm always defending My Hero Academia. I know people have that stereotype of the fan base and everything. I just enjoy what I enjoy, you know what I'm saying? I'm not part of all that. So I, I do love MHA, Shigaraki, great new gen antagonist villain. Garo, same exact thing. Now I'm not caught up all the way with the manga of One Punch Man like I am with My Hero Academia. So that might give Shigaraki the edge here. But every time I hear bits and pieces of what's going on in the recent chapters of One Punch Man. I'm always hearing something crazy about Garo, and I'm just like, man, I already know he's gonna flex. I already know, because I haven't seen, um, I, I'm only caught up to season two. I'm, I'm ready for the new season of One Punch Man. I'm purposely doing that, because I might do a reaction um, series for that on a Patreon or something. So if you guys want that, let me know in the comments below. But let's go with, I'm gonna go with Shigaraki. He has the edge with this right now, because I'm fully caught up to MHA. So we're gonna go with that. Speaking of My Hero Academia, we have All For One Verse. I can't think of the anime's name, but it's an anime that's on my list, but I haven't seen it, but they have this distinct art style with their nose and the eyes, but I haven't seen it yet, but come on, it's All For One. It, I don't think it would really mean anything. I don't know, I don't know. We have Friend from, I think that's 20th Century Boys. Haven't seen it yet. Or read it. Uh, it's on the. It's on my list. King Bradley from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Just like I was praising Gurren Lagann earlier, I can say the same type of thing for Full Metal. I love that anime. Uh, King. I mean King Bradley. I haven't seen 20th Century Boys yet. I, I, I'm pretty sure that that villain friend is probably crazy. I already know. I already know. Proxy One. I think that's from like Ergo Proxy. Haven't seen it yet, but I always see like that character and some other characters. And then Roberto from Monster guys. Roberto got this in the bag for me. Now, if I'm wrong, if you guys have seen Ergo Proxy and Monster and you think Proxy One gets this, let me, let me know in the comments. You know, we, we a family, we a crew. L let me know. But Roberto, every time you thought he was done, bro, he just popped back up, man. They couldn't get rid of him for a minute, bro. They could not. He was one of, he's like a Mahito. He's like a Mahito type villain. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we have Cell versus Bondrude. Now, I've heard that this is the villain, I think, from 
from Made in Abyss on my list. I I'm gonna see it soon. I heard it gets really dark. The art looks completely dope, but I mean, it's sell. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give it the sell here. I'm gonna give it the sell. Ooh! Oh no! It it's like Johan did this on purpose. He's looking at me. Johan's like, mm hmm. Dio's like, you know what you need to do, Romans. What is this? No matter where I go, these filters, these tournaments, these things, they want to troll me. What am I supposed to do with this guy? I watched JoJo before I watched Monster. When I watched JoJo and got done with it, I was like, I get it. I get why people talk about Dio the way he they do. You know, he he's man. Just hunt, hunt, wanted to hunt down the whole bloodline, you know? And then I watched Monster about a month, two months ago. Binged it all in a week, man. Johan is, Prague Johan was like peak LeBron in Miami. For those who can understand that, that's how real it was for Johan. Like that was peak Johan. Peak Johan was tweaking, man. I'm over here looking at the other monitor thinking there's a chat here because I'm used to the chat on live stream helping me. I, I don't know what to do here. Which character has left me jaw drop the most? Pause. No diddy. I'm gonna go Johan, man. Look, look, that was tough. That, that could have gone either way. Now, next up, we have Griffith and we have Tetsuo. Tetsuo, I want to say it's from Akira. I could be wrong. I know Akira is like a gym. If it's from Akira, I know Akira is like a gym in the anime community. I need to watch it. My day ones know this. I still have not seen Berserk yet. Now, it's gonna happen soon because Berserk is literally on the same watch list that Monster was on. So I'm very close. Just off the stories alone, I mean, come on now. I, I've heard some things. I know enough. Ooh. Togoro and Crocodile. Even though people talk about Yu Yu Hakusho like they do, I feel like people don't talk about it enough. They don't get the flowers, like, Yu Yu Hakusho doesn't get the flowers that it deserves. It arguably has the best tournament arc in all of anime, but no one, a lot of people wouldn't know it. But Togoro is a villain? <sighs> Man, Crocodile's still cooking, you know? He's back into the mix of things of Cross Guild. It would be nice to see what he's gonna do now that he's in that position. So at this very moment in time, I'm gonna give it to Togoro, man. I'm not gonna be, you know, the super biased One Piece fan, like, oh man, yeah, Crocodile, let's go. I'm gonna, I had to think about it quickly, as quick as possible, and make a decision. All right, we were just talking about him earlier. Funny Valentine from JoJo's. You know, I haven't seen Steel Ball Run. I'm pretty sure Steel Ball is Funny Valentine, right? And then Hades from um, Seiya. Okay, I talk about Seiya a lot. For those who haven't seen Seiya yet, I suggest it. When you have some time and want to watch a new anime that's, I think is pretty, cultured in the anime world, you know? I'm gonna go Hades just because I don't know anything yet about Funny Valentine. I wanna make a video being proven wrong. Hades, man, let's run it. Ooh. We have Pain and Orochimaru. Okay, th this is not what I was expecting, man. This this, this, is tur this tournament, oh man. This tournament is really messing with my feelings, guys. I'll go Orochimaru. We have Mahito and then Father from Full Metal. I don't know guys, this one here is tough. Mahito just did something to make my blood boil. You know, and it wasn't because of Junpei. You know what I'm saying? It's just, look at him, look at him. Let's go, let's go. Next, Anel, and then Ryo from um, Devil Man Cry Baby. I'm gonna go with Anel here. Tied to the plot heav heavily, still, in One Piece. Blackbeard, Medusa, it doesn't matter. Blackbeard, run it. Gyro from Hunter Hunter. And Kishin from Soul Eater. I again, a few episodes into Soul Eater, but I know that's the villain from Soul Eater. Since I haven't seen it, not gonna pick it. I'm gonna go with um, Gyro, Hunter Hunter. Even though, I mean, I didn't really, he kind of just got eaten and that was it. This one, um, Diavolo from JoJo's, yeah. Even though things ended weird, wrong for him, man. JoJo against JoJo. I'm guessing Toru is from JoJo. It looks like the same art. They have that distinctive art style. And Cars, go with Cars. We're on to the next rounds, guys. Let's get it. This is when things get quicker because we know the characters that are here and they're gonna get more fun. Let's get it. Miram and Sunsui. Okay. Again, for those who wanna say that I hate Hunter Hunter, what now? Run it. Boo and Anti- Mm. I'm gonna give it to Boo. Boo was more involved in everything he was doing in a way, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna give it to Majin Boo right there so we can. Ooh! Krolo and Sukuna. I mean, don't let both of these fan bases in the same room, guys, because oh my goodness. I'm gonna go here with Sukuna. Do Flamingo Ashigaraki. I know a lot of people may not agree with this. But I'm going with Dofi. I've seen people say that Shigaraki is better than Dofi. It's, yeah, it could go either way. But I'm giving it to Dofi, man. In my in my opinion, Dofi got it. Um, All for One and Roberto. All for One got it. Roberto, you're finally out, man. Get rid of Roberto, man. Let's get him out of here. Hira and Orochimaru. Look, the reason I picked Orochimaru over Pain before was because I just feel like during Orochimaru's villainous run, bro was really scary. Like, am I am I wild for saying that? Like, like not just by the 
his picture alone, but I mean, he was actually scary, man. Orochimaru was like low-key scary at times. I was like, ugh. Ugh, brother, ugh. <laughs> Next up, we have Kenjaku and Hades. Kenjaku's a breath of fresh air with Nugent. I put Kenjaku up there with, with kind of up there with like Lucius over there with Black Clover. Um, yeah, Kenjaku. Oh, I mean, all right. Two characters that literally irk me out, man. Oh, man, yeah, Mahito. Yeah, Mahito got it. Look, Shishuo, I keep struggling saying your name today, my guy. But look, Goat Eisen got it, man. Kaido! And Frieza, just like if it was a 1v1 match, guys. Frieza got this. Same goes here, man. Like, Anel, Cell, I get it. Anel's doing a lot of lore building, I guess is what we can say right now. Things are just building up and up with everything that's tied into the plot. Um, for those who know, know. And then Perfect Cell. I, I, I Cell just, it's hard to not have him go through, you know? Oh, oh! It's Hanuma again. Yujiro. Now this is where I'm gonna not be scared anymore and I'm gonna pick Togoro because again Togoro is actually a great villain and I just need to watch Baki. I just need to watch Baki, guys. Gyro, Diavolo. Um, Diavolo. Laughing Man, King Bradley. Um, again, I'm pretty sure Laughing Man's from Ghost in the Shell, but King Bradley. I feel like King Bradley was more of a villain than father. So Blackbeard and Cars. Come on. Blackbeard is so underrated, it's not even funny, man. It's not even funny. Ooh! Okay. Griffith, Johan. Now, I'm really hoping that Griffith will have the same effect that Johan had on me. That sounded weird again because these are like some twisted. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it will. <laughs> You guys know what I mean. I'm gonna go Johan right now, man. Maybe things will change once I finally watch Berserk, but look, the moment I watched Monster, Johan instantly jumped into like, what, my top three? Kenjaku Cell. Oh, man. We can we can go off of it like this when it comes down to Kenjaku and Cell. The fall of both of them, you know, from the beginning to the end of their characters where we are now. I'm gonna go Cell. I'm gonna go Cell, I'm gonna just run with it. Frieza Togoro, Frieza got it. Orochimaru and Sukuna. This here is when I think I'm gonna give Sukuna his flowers that he deserves because name a villain in anime that we have seen do what he is doing with the longevity throughout the story you know it's been since episode one from the jump man from the straight jump um and even though i feel like orochimaru's villain time was his prime I i'm gonna give it to sukuna here i'm gonna give it to sukuna man because sukuna could really win sukuna could win like, let me know in the comments below, guys, how you think Jujutsu Kaisen is going to end. I want to know your thoughts. Ooh! It was unavoidable. This had to happen, guys. Doflamingo versus Aizen. Who am I going to pick right here, right now, man? There has to be a choice. There's no poll I can ask on chat. There's no chat. It's just me. Okay, look, guys. I'm going Aizen. I'm going Aizen. Look, when you see how much... I don't even going to explain it. I'm not going to explain it yet. It doesn't even matter. I'm picking Aizen. I'm picking Aizen. We have Miram and Mahito. Damn, bro. This is tough. I feel like I'm about to make some people mad, bro. I feel like I'm gonna make some people mad. I just feel it. Like, I, I, I understand everything that went down with this character. I do. But maybe it's just recency bias. But I, this man just... It's my opinion. As a villain, you need to be able to irk my soul. And Mahito does that, man. <laughs> Ooh. Let's have a serious talk here. This is gonna convince a lot of people about one thing here. And I'm gonna say it like this. So one of the animes that I would make my content on when I was starting my channel up and still do was Dragon Ball. So I love Dragon Ball. I love the characters. I do see the writing in the characters, you know, more than some people do. Like there's more there than just fighting all the time, you know, like Vegeta's character development. But Johan, man, you just have to see Monster, bro. You have to see Monster if you haven't to understand it. Diavolo, Diavolo, and King Bradley. Tough one here. Not gonna lie to you. He was a good villain in JoJo's in um in Golden Wind. Golden Wind is my favorite JoJo part, and I think I think one of the biggest reasons my favorite JoJo part is because of that. I mean, King Bradley was good. Oh my lord, have mercy. Let's do it, Bradley. Let's run it. Just run it. That's tough, bro. That's tough. Bro, we have Blackbeard and All for One. Ay, 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 ay. All right, guys. All for One is menacing. Aura, same goes for Blackbeard. When you look at the stories from One Piece and My Hero Academia, both of these characters right here are the reasons why everything is going down in the story when you think about it. You know, everything in One Piece isn't going down because of Akainu. You know, Akainu did what he did at Marineford only because of who? Because of Blackbeard, because of what he did 
to get a certain character, you know what I'm saying? And we can say the same type of thing for All For One in My Hero Academia with the quirks and everything. So this right here is tough, but my guy Blackbeard got it. Let's just run it because look at this matchup next, guys. Look at this matchup, Aizen, Sukuna. I've seen some people in my Discord talk about how, oh, you know, Sukuna could possibly be in the Mount Rushmore for villains, you know? And look, there's an argument there, but just because you're on the Mount Rushmore doesn't mean you're number one. You could be two, three, four, because the top two are taken by characters like Aizen, baby! Sukuna is finally out. Someone had to get Sukuna out since Gege is not gonna do it. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it, y'all. I got him. Johan Mahito. Look, Mahito. Mahito would irk my soul, but he hasn't given me chills like Johan. This always sounds wrong. I'm not simping over Johan, but look, bro. Watch Monster. Watch. <laughs> we have Frieza, Blackbeard. I think I'm going to give this to Frieza at the moment. Where we are right now, Blackbeard's getting close. I, I, end of story, Blackbeard. After he finishes all his biggest chess moves, I, I feel like he can be on the Mount Rushmore. I honestly already have him over Doflamingo in some areas when it comes down to the best villain in One Piece, you know? But I'ma give it to Frieza here. You know, I'm trying to be fair here. You just can't get rid of Frieza. He just keeps coming back, causing trouble. Look what he, we wanna talk about what Blackbeard's doing in the manga recently. Look what Frieza recently did in the Dragon Ball Super manga you know what i'm saying to goku and vegeta it can go either way i'll go frieza here we have cell king bradley this is actually a tougher matchup than i thought it would be but i think i'm gonna go with i'm gonna have to just pick one and run with it guys i'm going king bradley that's tough because the deception and everything you know in full metal alchemist brotherhood when you think about it like it just wasn't how strong he was and everything like the writing was really just so damn good man like he was i i, I, I don't want to say anything for those who haven't seen it yet i'll go king bradley damn Ooh, oh, I mean, I think it's fair to say, guys, Johan versus Aizen. This is the finals right here. Whoever wins this, I think wins the whole tournament, guys. Johan or Aizen. There were times when I was watching Monster, I'm like, man, Johan might be the number one villain. But as I said, I recently caught up with Bleach, you know, the Thousand Year Blood War and stuff. And when I, when you finally see everything that Aizen has been doing from the very beginning, it's just so hard to just shake. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give it to Aizen, man. That just might be super biased, but I'm gonna give it to Aizen. Frieza King Bradley, I'm gonna give it to Frieza. We have Aizen and Frieza in the finals, guys. Now this obviously was probably someone's prediction here, but look, that takes me back to my childhood, man. Seeing Super Saiyan for the first time on TV because of Frieza. Seeing, uh, hearing about Frieza before they got to Namek, about you know how scary Frieza was and everything, and Frieza living up to the hype, every single bit of it, you know? And still being present now in the story, you have Aizen, who already made it clear that he's a mastermind. And then you see how far back he's planned things. And then you find out more about the actual world of Bleach. And you see that Aizen was actually planning even more. Like it, two phenomenal anime villains, you know, that are impactful in so many different crazy ways, you know, even it's not even about power scaling, you know. That's kind of why I wanted to do this, you know? I don't think I saw Itachi as an antagonist. They didn't have him on here, I, th I don't think, huh? I just thought about that. I don't think we saw Itachi, or we might have. I don't think so. I think a Naruto, a Naruto fan must have made this because they don't see Itachi as a villain or antagonist. So that, that's why Itachi's not on here. Aizen, Frieza, I'm going Aizen, guys. I think it was pretty clear who I'm gonna pick on this. We're going Aizen. That's what it's gonna be. But yeah, guys, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was fun as always. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what ideas you want to see next. And like always, God bless and I'll see you next time.